Mary Farah Lenny Fawcett was born on the 2nd of February 1947 in Corpus Christi, Texas in the United States of part British and French descent. And as Farah Fawcett was an actress perhaps still best remembered for her appearance in the role of private investigator Jill Monroe in the TV series Charlie's Angels in the 1970s and on the ABC channel. Her career was active from 1969 to 2009 when she passed away. Have you ever wondered how rich Farrah Fawcett was? According to Celebrity.Money, it is estimated that her overall net worth was as high as $20 million, the main source of her wealth being her career in the entertainment industry. Farrah Fawcett was raised with her older sister in a Roman Catholic family by Pauline Alice Fawcett, a homemaker, and James William Fawcett, who worked as an oil field contractor. She received her initial education at the Parish School of St. Patrick's Roman Catholic Church in Corpus Christi, after which she attended W.B. Ray High School. Later, she enrolled at the University of Texas at Austin, where she studied art, but quit education and started to pursue a career in the entertainment industry, as thanks to her beauty, she was spotted by Hollywood agent David Murish. Thus, Farah moved to Los Angeles in 1968, and her career was ready to take off. At the beginning, she signed a contract with Screen Gems, which brought her several appearances in commercials for such products and companies as Max Factor, Beauty Rest Mattress, Mercury Cougars Automobiles, and Noxzema. After that, in the late 60s, she auditioned for and appeared in several minor roles in such TV series as Mayberry RFD, I Dream of Jeannie, and films Love is a Funny Thing and Three's a Crowd. In the 1970s, her acting career took a turn for the better when Pro Arts Incorporated published a poster for her in a red bikini, which later apparently became the best-selling poster in history. After that, Farrah featured more often in high-profile films and TV series, including Harry O in 1975, The Six Million Dollar Man, and of course the role of Jill Munro in Charlie's Angels from 76 to 1980. She also appeared in Logan's Run in 76 and Somebody Killed Her Husband in 1978. All of these added to her net worth. In the 1980s, her popularity went through the roof with roles in such productions as Saturn 3 with Kirk Douglas and Harvey Keitel in lead roles, Murder in Texas with Andy Griffith and Catherine Ross, and Nazi Hunter, The Beat Clearsfield Story. The Bernie Bed and Extremities, among others, steadily boosted her net worth. The 1990s didn't change much for Farrah, only the number of roles and so the size of her net worth, as she featured in such films and TV series as Children of the Dust with Michael Moriarty and Sidney Poitier in lead roles, The Substitute Wife alongside Leah Thompson and Peter Weller, then The Apostle directed by Robert Duvall. Her last film appearance was as Mrs. Crowley in Cookout in 2004, but meantime, she featured in the TV series The Garden and Spin City in 2001, all of which, of course, contributed to her net worth. Thanks to her talents, Farrah received numerous prestigious nominations and awards, including six Golden Globe Award nominations and four Primetime Emmy Awards. Farrah received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 1995 for her accomplishments as an actress. Speaking about her personal life, Farrah Fawcett was married to actor Lee Majors from 73 to 82. After that, she was in a relationship with actor Ryan O'Neill, with whom she has a son, and later dated Canadian filmmaker James Orr. In 2006, she was diagnosed with anal cancer, and three years later, she died at the age of 62 in St. John's Health Center in Santa Monica, California, on the 25th of June, 2009.